Bordley Wines was started by my grandfather, Vittorio de Bordley, in 1928. From those very humble beginnings, the company slowly grew over the following decades. Adopting a lot of green initiatives, it's not about doing it for marketing purposes. It actually is very important for us um, as, a, as a family because we, we do want to pass on something that's just um, quite healthy and quite beautiful to, to the next generation. We've adopted this sort of biological farming approach because we really want to be a sustainable company, you know, a really healthy vineyard, fantastic soils and sustainability. You know, we want to be here in another 30 years. Water availability and salinity were the two major problems in the Murray-Darling Basin. As a result of that, we made the decision firstly to move away from sodium chemistry in our winery straight to potassium chemistry in our winery so that we could create the situation where we could farm our wastewater. The recovery of potassium, which normally goes out of a waste, allows us to possibly get a second, third or fourth usage. We have found that we've been able to move away from very large aerators to simply reducing down to a number of small aerators with, a, with an outlay of about $5,000 a year in electricity charges. Since 2008, our you know, composting um, sort of programs have reduced water sort of needs for our vineyard by 50%. So this is an enormous amount. We're really trying to get our you know, grapevines to grow down to depth. And when we do get sort of natural rainfall, we're storing our water in our soils. One of the initiatives that we had was one of our purchasing managers decided that material was being wasted and going to landfill. He spent 18 months doing an audit of the company and worked out various ways to save, reuse, recycle. This then dropped our material to landfill by about three to four hundred tonnes and we ended up going from a deficient where the company paid every year for landfill to ending up making a small profit. The upgrades to our wastewater management system have also saved us 1,300 tonnes of CO2. A minor redesign now saves us over $200,000 a year in power. We've made a commitment to recycle all of our waste, obviously all of our grape mark and skins and seeds and, and stems, uh, all of the cardboard and you know, waste paper from the, from the administration and from packaging. And uh, any other sort of you know, green material we can, can source for nothing, we'll uh, try and get into these compost piles. Cleaning of our tanks, this process will work on the sun, it will be uh, driven by solar cells, we'll use a low, low voltage system and as such the saving in carbon will be reasonably great. The initiative of the Bortley Wines in our planning department was working on a changeover to lean and green bottles. A weight of a normal bottle is approximately 450 to 500 grams. A lean and green bottle comes in at about 360 grams. The savings are in terms of transport, shipment 
and also a massive amount of carbon savings from the production of glass. We've taught all our staff about how they should separate and segregate waste streams and then use colour coded bins to recycle. Um, an outcome from that has been a reduction of 40% of our um, waste to landfill. It's the little things that make an enormous amount of difference. It's the, you know, it's the biological program, it's the health of our soils, it's the, you know, it's the health of the canopy. It's all the sort of manual work that we now do. It's the hand picking and the hand sorting and all that sort of stuff, all in this goal. By adopting the you know, biological farming in here, we've seen enormous increases in quality of uh, you know, the resultant wines that have come from these vineyards. Healthier soils and healthier plants produce better wine. The actual compost tea that we're applying underneath is really to promote again more sort of biology and so those compost teas are made at one of our other sites and brought over here. We create you know, approximately 1300 cubic metres of, of compost each year which is more than enough to cover our vineyards. You know, we really try to increase the fungal and bacterial activity in our soils here in the Yarra. Composting and soil management have, uh, have increased our worm numbers enormously in the last couple of years. I think we're now up to around 5.1 million worms per hectare and this is sort of an enormous amount of worm castings that are sort of naturally created in our soil profile. Trying to develop a, a green culture all the way from the, the top with the family right through to all of our employees. Uh, during the training programs for our environmental systems, there is a lot of goodwill from our staff. They really appreciate it when the business provides them a framework where they can act positively in an environmental way. Debortley Wines, as an initiative for the environment and also to improve our supply chain, invited all our suppliers to the Debortley Big Day Out believing that a synergy created between a supplier and the company being supplied to can help us in, in a green way. A series of RNG projects are run on the concept of creating eventually a zero waste winery by minimising the resources used, recovering the end product and making them into saleable products, the winery lessens its impact on the environment. In recognition of some of the things we've done, we are the first Australian winery to be accredited to Entwine, which is the Australian Winemakers Federation accreditation for environmental performance. De Bortleys are also active members of the Environmental Committee for the Winemakers Federation Australia, part of the Packaging Covenant and also Sustainable Advantage system provided by the New South Wales Government. The true measure of why I think De Bortley should be recognised under the Green Awards is the actual movement of the entire business in terms of culture. Not just purely business focused, 
jobs, but also around the way we approach people um, and the way people interact with the business. These sort of actions by the company help us in our way to sustainability and also lead back to our function or our aim of eventually being the zero waste winery. We're very committed to being a green company uh, for no other reason than we feel it is the right thing to do and we do want to, to pass a, a wonderful legacy on to the next generation.